Oi, oi, lads. Right, let's try some of this Jundek. This Cruelty of Gex saga is insanely good and insanely fun. Because you get to tutor every time you use it. Elder Dragon War was very impressive. We're trying to make the Soul of Wind Grace work. Wasn't everyone saying that Black Saga was impossible to cast and too expensive? I, I don't think I even reviewed that card, man. And no, that one got revealed right at the end, did it not? Read ahead is uh, you can skip to you can skip stages on the saga, right? Like when you cast it, you can just put it in as stage two or three if you want. <laughs> Two mana discard a card. Eh? Yeah, we played against Agent Avenger earlier. What's teachings in the deck for? Because it's good? Lily plus one discard invoke. Man, invo invoke's a good card. What are you going to do? Separate all permanents target player controls into two piles. That player sacrifices all permanents in the pile of their choice. <clears throat> Alright, so, so the Lily player chooses the piles, huh? And then I choose what I keep. <laughs> So I can go straight to stage three and get a Titan, but seems pretty bad. <laughs> Got some choices, haven't we, chat? Got some freaking choices here. Take another groaty, I think. Mm 
That has just uh, gave me an idea. What about a one-off Graph Reaver as a, as a tutor target? Can be copied with Fable. Seems pretty nice, right? A little Planeswalker removal spell. Two mana. A little one-off. Makes sense, I think. Next question and harder question. How the hell do you get it in the deck? It dodges cut down, yeah. Like, if you're just playing it on curve, that's pretty nice. Got a Titan, you can tutor it. Nah, but we don't want to tutor Titan, though. We want to mill it, right? I mean, if I have to tutor it, I will, but... So it's kind of a... It's not the best use of our tutors. Will it finally be Graffy Boy's time? I, I think so, man. I think so. Good Fable target, good tutor target. Dodge is cut down. Seems like it might be... It may be young Graf Reaver's uh, moment in the sun. That I cut for Graf Reaver, just one of the one of the teachings. It might be right to cut one of the titans, but. Man, I, I, I like the Titans, what can I say? Mm -mm -mm. Benick? Huh? Benick? What? <clears throat> my reanimation strategy? M my teachings? Benick seems like a card we, we might want to try and remove, if possible. Okay, well those cards are not going to remove a Denick, are they? <laughs> Whenever you cast a spell that targets only a single artifact or creature you control, create a token that's a copy, blah 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 blah. <clears throat> I say blah 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 to this. <laughs> But back in the chill, mate, okay? It is Orvar the Enchantment. Titan's just a great card, man. Every game I play, I'm just like, okay, Titan's good in this matchup. Okay, Titan's good in this matchup, and this one, and this one. That card is gas. This one? I mean, this this game was a, a win for opponent until they used this, and now they're going to lose.
<clears throat> Where are my titans at, yo? Wow. Nice. Just John Sagas coming through. <clears throat> what? Does, doesn't Denix stop their own card working? Non-creature, please. You. Thank you. Non-creature, please. You. I have four treasures and four blood tokens. I'm chilling. Karen's Redonculus. So it's, it's just a very good card, man. It's a very, very good card. And it not it's just very good standalone, but it's also good uh Hmm. It feeds our Gix saga. So you might you might mill a Titan for your reanimate saga. Uh it, you might mill a land for your for your solo wind grace. So yeah, I mean I think it's very solid by itself and especially good in this deck. Okay. That seemed like a win. Flexing? I'm not flexing, I'm just uh, tapping my lands to cast some spells. Isn't that what you do on, on all magic turns? The weather light's pretty bad, right? I think the weather light is good if... If... You are playing ways to sacrifice your own creatures and like a significant amount of ways to sacrifice your own creatures, as in more than just right of oblivion. What what do you mean F? Hello, fake F. I can see chat. Hello, fake F? What haters? <clears throat> Fake F. Fake F is a disgusting thing to do, by the way. 
I'm, I'm considering making fake F a bannable offence. Because it actually causes the streamer pain. It should be a bannable offence, right? A fake F. Bro, stop typing F, man. Stop with the Fs. In unless they are real, because they trigger me. Because I panic and start fucking checking everything. Stupid ass Cathar. Uh, what? Why would you do this? Why didn't you just attack with the initiate, man? I block. You discard a card, and then... What? What? <laughs> Alright, I mean, stage one of the Gex is pretty good against Mono White if he can find the time to get it down, which we will be able to probably if we find an untapped land here. Liliana of the frickin' Veil? Of the frickin' goddamn veil. <clears throat> nice, nice Loris, mate. Cool Loris, bro. <clears throat> Lily's poppin'. We're on 19 against Mono White. We're on 19 against a 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 Mono White curve. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. <laughs> okay. Each player discards a card. Again. Again. <clears throat> Surely they're running out of gas, like, now, you know? They're running out of gas. No. <laughs> Motherfucker, man. I need that card. Okay, all of a sudden we just lost, so that's pretty cool. Wasn't expecting that to happen. Right, this is the classic, don't, don't use your lily. I pass. Oh my god, am I, am I gonna lose this game? No way. No shot am I losing this game. New deck time? No, no, no. I still believe. I think we can jund our way to a dub here. Even against a pretty nice uh, mono white hand. Where's this? Is going face.
Very interesting, isn't it? Is it the double block Talia? Actually, I think that's a massive scam. Bro, my walker is useless. We're uh, we're gonna lose. I honestly can't believe it. <clears throat> Discard and play Gix level three pop Titan to board. Question mark. Uh, that's gonna be hard. My thing costs ten, <laughs> bro. Really? They, they, you really didn't choose the Titan, huh? I feel like that may be a mistake. See, so follow up, you're wrapping your head around the pe Yeah, this thing, this thing taxes a card name by two. Honestly, man, give me just a dragon. I'll take a 4 4. <laughs> it's so hard to wrap your head around whether Liliana is good or. Like, utter dog shit. But I think... Good, right? Like, it, it, she was making their attacks weird. It does feel awful when you can't use her, though. But... Mm, can you really say that we didn't use her, though? Like, we, we did kinda use her. We used her to kill Luris. Twice. Which is not nothing. Delver. <clears throat> Alright, this Delver will not flip here. This Delver will not flip. This Delver will not flip. Thank you. Oh, I'm playing against Posty. I block. This is not Post Malone? Yeah, it is. MTG Malone, Post Malone. <laughs> well, they, they topped a card that doesn't flip Delver. I block. That's, that's classic Posty. <clears throat> man, man was out last night, for sure. But it makes sense. I would be to. <clears throat> yeah. Get 
guess we play around spell pierce first. <laughs> Free Malone. <clears throat> That's a good meme. Give me a 4 4 fucker. I honestly don't know what opponent's doing. <clears throat> what I do know is that this Jun deck is undefeated for about 8 hours. Shit is too good. I'm 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 not going to top deck an underdog. <clears throat> Tell you what, man. Give me a stage two, please. I'll read ahead to only stage two. Oh yeah. Give him the good game back, be polite. I mean, it's post Malone, man. Maybe if it was 2021, 20, I would give him the GG back, but... Come on. Ecuador! Ecuador!